Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I recorded a little intro, but then my alarm went off and it cut off the recording, and I was like, I don't want to upload a 40-second video to YouTube, so here we are. I already passed the intro and passed the little flash black thing. Flash back thing. Who knows? Maybe I'll decide to be like, eh, it was worth including just for whatever. But um, anyways, quick sum up. We made it past Viridian Forest, went into Pewter City, we challenged Brock the gym leader. We beat him handily, one handily. And now we are back to resuming our journey to be the best Pokemon. Sorry, the coolest Pokemon trainer. If you recall, my name is Black. That's what I named myself. And my theme is that everyone I get is named after colors. And I was thinking, you know, maybe it'd be cooler. And that's not, I don't necessarily need to name everyone actual color names i could just hypothetically you know look you know name it based off a color name and then you know i could modify it as i as i feel so inclined but um here we are anyways the pewter museum of science i don't believe i went into here last time so let's check it out i say well hello yes yes it's 50 dollars for a child's ticket would you like to come in sorry i said dollars but it's uh more like 50 cents if you recall in one of my previous um well, the previous episodes, I made a whole thing about it. And now it's like, people call it dollars, but it's actually more like cents. Because, you know, it's Japanese currency. And their whole translation, 100, 100, yeah. Anyways, would you like to come in? Yes. I would like to come in. 50 cents is not a big deal. Right, 50 cents. Thank you. Thank you. What do we have in here? Look at this. I'm getting crustacean vibes. Perhaps from the crustacean period? Aerodactyl, nope. Aerodactyl fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. Interesting. Primitive and rare. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Hmm. Dude, you're right, man. I wish I could see the bones of a dragon. Ooh, Kabutops fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. I used to think Kabutops was really lame, but now I am so all over Kabutops. I think he's one of the coolest dudes ever. Oh my gosh. I think it's a shame that, um... Pretty sure I'll be coming on a Cobbletops fossil pretty soon. But, um, I don't think I'll be able to redeem him until way later into the game. And I was asking myself, did I want to trade over a Cobbletops from one of my other games and maybe, you know, breed him or something? As if, like, once I get to the daycare, maybe I'll breed him. And then have my own Cobbletops and raise him, you know, from that point. Because, man, I think it sucks that they, they let you have a Cobbletops fossil, but you can't actually use him in part of your team until, like, you're already through the game. So... I don't know. It's an interesting question. But then it's like, you know, rock and water. Rock and water is a very vulnerable type. Four times weakness to grass and all. Let me talk to some people here. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Oh? Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. Okay, cool. A space shuttle. Dang, space shuttle. That's cool. What does this scientist looking fella have to say? This month, we're running a space exhibit. Woo! Just this month only? Um, Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Is this the Moonstone they're talking about? Mm hmm? A meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. It is thought to be a Moonstone. Hmm, interesting. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. Is that accurate? Is it really July 20th, 1969? That's like such a weird thing that they're tying this universe into um, our real world universe. If they're like really trying to like, they're really going for a, first thought that came to my mind is like a Marvel vibe where they're like, hey, stuff that you see in, you know, they have McDonald's here or they have, you know, iPhones or something. But, um. Not that Marvel's, I don't know if Marvel's ever referenced iPhones or McDonald's, but they do seem to make it look like the Marvel world and our world are one and the same. But um, anyways, just thought it was really weird that they wanted to make it seem like these are parallel universes or something. I don't even know. Anyways, man, I thought this place was a little more active, but um, that's okay. Do you have anything else to say to me? Please enjoy yourself. Well... There's not much else here, but thank you. It was a good time. It was an okay time, I guess. It was a little underwhelming, but that's okay. I see there's a tree there, so we can't quite make it in there. 
Oh well. Um. Well, anyways. Interesting situation. Level 15 is our highest, and then everyone else is kind of low. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. I know we're going, we're approaching a cave pretty soon. Um, it's gonna be interesting. What do you have to say? Oh, hello. Oh, Black! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Prof Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Black received the running shoes from the aide. Ah, yes! Black switched shoes with the running shoes. Excellent. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye! Very cool, very cool. I'm happy. There's a letter attached. Dear Black, here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Oh, that was from my mom. She gave me the running shoes. That was a little awkward voice for her. Um, you know, I've been going defaulting to, like, a geeky voice when I'm, like, reading signs and talking to people or whatever. Maybe I should try and default to making it cooler, because that is definitely the theme I was going for, like, in every way, in every opportunity. I want to try and sound as cool as possible. Hello. Excuse me. You looked at me, didn't you? Well, I guess I did. Looks like we're gonna have a battle over it, huh? Last Janice would like to battle. Last Janice sent out a Pidgey. Ooh, boy. All right. All right. If he's got Peck, this could be a... This could be dangerous. And I would reckon they probably do have a Peck of some sort. My thoughts are... Jeepers, man. This is awkward. I'm a little worried about sleep powder missing. And now I'm realizing grass is my only uh, attacking move. Or, you know, yeah. Um, and that's not going to be very effective. Do I do like a leech seed, switch it in mauve, and then... What does mauve got? Man, this is awkward. Tail with quick attack. Okay, I'm doubtful Pidgey's going to KO me in one hit. This is awkward. All right, now, if we, uh, my recollection of how I wanted the rules to be is I'd give Pakistan, like, three strikes. Um, and then everyone else would die in one hit. That's kind of the rules I set up for myself. At least as far as doing people in the wild and stuff. Um, maybe I should just go for the Sleep Powder Leech Seed and then switch in. Maybe that's what I should do. I guess let's try it. All right, success. And I'm faster. That's a good combo right there. That's what we want. All right. Pidgey's fast asleep. That's great news. Now I'm going to leech seed him. Let's, let's really... Let's really set ourselves up for success here. I'm thinking I'm going to switch over to Mauve. That was a fast wake up. All right, that tackle does almost nothing. And the fact that they use tackle might indicate that they don't actually have... A flying type move like Peck or Gust or something, which is great news for me. Um, why not put him asleep again? Oh, I missed. That's not what we want. That's not good. Good thing I already got the leech seed in, so at least I'm guaranteed doing damage each turn. That's not nothing. That's for sure not nothing. All right, success, even with the sand attack. Ooh, this is a wild battle. Oh man, he's asleep. All right. Now I'm thinking I'm going to switch in Mob, and he's going to take care of the rest of this guy for me. And get some much needed experience points at that. All right. It's a little awkward. He's level 7 to level 9, but I think that just means he's going to get that much. Oh my gosh, he just keeps waking up. That's not good. Okay. Did not need that. That's a little annoying. Well, now the question is, do I just... I mean, that was a critical hit. Probably gonna survive. If I, um... Alright. Jeez, I can't believe he kept waking up after the first turn, though. Um... I'm thinking quick attack. I'm sure he's gonna live. It was just... It was a critical hit. It was a critical hit. I'm sure he's gonna live. Alright. I'm going to quick attack, get some more HP, I'm going to get whittled down a little bit. If it's dire, I'll restore my HP. If it's not, I'll do another quick attack. All right, here we go. 
Okay. All right. This is going to be a close fight. Mob is really hanging in there. All right, if we get another quick attack in, that's for sure going to win us the day. Can he make it? Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, Pakistan gained 52 experience plus Mob gained 52. That's barely anything. Dang, that was disappointing. This is going to take a while. Oh, man, they are really out of jeepers. Um, I feel like this strategy, though, is the best thing I've got. Um, yeah, I feel like I ought to switch Pakistan back in and do the whole sleep powder leech sheet combo. I think that's the best thing I can do here. Because um, this is a little dangerous. Level 9 again. Okay, this sleep powder. That's the thing about sleep powder. You're going to get a lot of misses. 75% accuracy is not great. On top of that, we just got whatever that is. Maybe I should leech seat first. Just so I'm getting it in. Alright, that's that's good. Get something going. Okay, he does have a flying type attack. These critical hits. Whoo! It's a little scary. That's the word I would use to describe this. Jeepers. Well. Um. I mean. Odds are. Odds are. He's not going to get another. He's not going to get another critical hit in. Is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think it's fine. All right. That's great news. Thank you very much. Okay. Fast asleep. That's good news. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm thinking. I could just growl. And make sure that, uh... You know. Uh, what was I going to say? They're just not doing that much. Because Gust is kind of scary, dude. Um, man, this is a tense battle with these Pidgeys. This girl really knows her stuff or something. Um, whatever. I was just trying to get into the spirit of things. Um, yeah, let's growl him up. I think that's a good move. How many critical hits has they, have they landed? I think just two. And they've woken up the first turn each time. Amazing. Well, that Gus barely does anything now, which is great news for me. Um, let's try and put him to sleep again. Okay. You know, all things considered, I think it's a trade-off of luck. You know, they've landed some critical hits, but I have not... I've, I've missed a number of things, but... Given that I've been sand attacked, I'm not disappointed. I'm not upset with, um, uh, 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 um, what was I going to say? Whatever, you know? All right. I think it's safe at this point to switch mob in. I think this is going to be faster than whatever I, else I could have. Mob and Pakistan, they got a good tag team going. All right, fast asleep. That's exactly what we want. Good stuff for us. And let's... Okay, no, I think quick attack and tackle do the exact same amount of damage, so let's go for the quick attack. Nice. Excellent. All right, just when we need it, things are going our way. Wow, that was a tight battle. Very good. I applaud this this young lass here. She's going to go far with her Pidgeys, I have no doubt. But this victory was mine. You're mean. Oh, sorry. Better luck next time. Black got $1.44, though. Which is fantastic. What does she have to say? You shouldn't be staring if you don't want to battle. Sorry. But I, uh... I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, whatever. Excellent. We're all good now. Let's get ourselves healed up. This is an awkward situation of, um... That was kind of threatening. And, um... I'm sure it was exciting, perhaps, for the viewers. Perhaps even for myself when I go to rewatch this. But, 
Not so sure if I want to um, be living so on the edge with just a haphazard first battle like that. So now I'm thinking I should find some wild grass to train in. But I'm um, not seeing anything. This just looks like a bunch of trainers here. So, perhaps it's time we uh, have a little grinding session. Perhaps that's the word. At least, let's let's at least get Mauve up to level 9. Let's have him meet where, um, you know, the challengers were. I think that's a reasonable thing to do, certainly. Certainly. Level 5, that's good news for experience points. I think it's going to go faster if I... Give my tail whip, Mob. Um. Oh yeah, I'm still not really sure what my um how I should go about like making this theatrical and not annoying. Um, Cause I mean, I like to be sincere with everything if I can. That's great. Oof, a sand attack! Like I don't know when he throws a sand attack at me, should I be like, oh? Gosh, oh, I got sand, he got sand in his eyes. Am I speaking for Mav, or am I speaking for myself on Mav's behalf, you know? Like, oh, darn it, Mav, you okay? I'm, I'd hate to have sand in my eyes. I can empathize that you just got sand thrown in your face. I hope you're doing okay. Thanks for sticking it out for me. I believe in you. Go for a tail at Mav, and then, you know, I'm, I know it's all up to me at the end of the day, but um, these are things I'm asking myself. What would be most satisfying to perform and listen to and all that good stuff or i could just talk casually i suppose like this find random weird things to talk about that's certainly an idea as well um it's just not as exciting i wanted this to be a whole thing where i was you know acting like mob grew to level eight Woo! look at that that's some stat growth right there excellent excellent yeah, I wanted to make this all a thing where, you know, I was, like, actually getting into the mind and the spirit of a trainer. And every time you heard me go into a battle, it was real or something. I don't know. Sometimes that can be cringy, but I was really wanting to do that, I guess. Um, I thought it'd be cool. I think this is going to take him down to halfway. Nice! Did not even... Well, now I'm wondering, uh, maybe Taylor would have done me some good. Oh, well. Anyways... Yep, um, that's okay, though. Uh, what to talk about? You know, one of the things I was thinking about is, you know, uh, it's so random right now, this is totally unrelated, and, you know, I was wondering if I wanted to save this for a better point in time, where, uh, what, what was I gonna say? Better point in time, where, uh, maybe a bigger grinding session, because I don't think it's gonna take me all that long, but, um, and it's kind of deep, it's not that deep. But, uh, anyways, I was taking a video game, uh, I don't know what you call it exactly, some sort of video game, yeah, like, video games and culture, and, 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 and basically it was just an excuse to learn about video games and talk about video games and think somewhat critically about video games and, and why we play them and stuff. Anyways, I was taking that class at a community college, and it was very cool, and the final project was to play a video game and find out what cultural value it um it that, that the specific video game we thought we thought that video game uh had or 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 was designed for and and then talk about that like why you know why do we care or just talk about it or something anyways um and i you know cultural values that's kind of a a little vague, I think, you know, cultural values, but, um, I used that as an excuse to just talk about, I chose Pokemon Platinum at the time, um, that's my game of choice, sorry, I spit on the screen, how are we looking, still good, I think, still good, um, and, uh, basically, I was like, I think the cultural value in Pokemon Platinum, and all Pokemon games, for that matter, I was just happening to be playing Pokemon Platinum, but all Pokemon games is about finding meaning um and honestly you could say that about like every game or whatever but um i thought pokemon was especially relevant because there's so many um uh aspects to pokemon and different goals you can go for and different um i guess 
ways you can go about playing the game, ways you can go about having goals and, 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 and things that you can care about. Um, and I thought that was interesting because in the past, you know, Pokemon is not always a, a hitter of a game for me, you know? Like, sometimes I'll be playing it and, I don't know, like, especially with the most recent games. I mean, I haven't played the most recent games. The most recent game i played is Pokemon Sun. Um, and that game was not very exciting for me. Um, but I think it may have had less to do... I mean, it's possible, like, some aspects of the game were actually, like, not good. It's possible. But I think it more had to do with the fact that I just didn't find any sort of satisfying meaning to attach myself to. My, the team that I had felt very, um... For whatever reason, I just was not satisfied with the team that I had. And, like, I didn't really care about any of the members. None of them felt like actual teammates that I cared about. I didn't really care about the journey. Didn't care about the story. Didn't care about the gym leaders. No, nothing felt super rewarding to me. Um, and I was almost having a similar time with Pokemon Platinum. Um, it helped that I was playing it with some friends of mine. And that, was, that, that made it a little more exciting. Um, but... I think the conclusion I came to was that, like, to enjoy Pokemon in any game, but especially Pokemon, you have to, like, find a goal or something about it that you care about, um, kind of thing, where it's like, you can't just, for me, playing Pokemon just by itself, I'm not necessarily going to enjoy it, kind of thing, like, I have to do something to make it fun, or, 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 Make it meaningful, you could say. Is That's how I would articulate it. Mob, grew to level 9 at last! Nice! Look at that stat growth. I wonder what EVs I got from those, um... Pidgeys and Rattatas. His speed and match X, max HP went up, so maybe I got some speed and HP EVs. Who knows? Very cool, very cool. Look at those stats. He's a speedy sly dude. I'm almost wondering, you know, I'm not done talking... So maybe, who knows, do I want to just keep getting into level 10 just to be super safe? Why not, you know? Anyways, I was talking about how, uh, yeah, I have to make, I have to do something to make Pokemon fun. I'm kind of doing that right now, both with the Nuzlocke and in recording myself. I think both of those things make it a little more meaningful to me. Um, one of those is a little awkward, though, because it's like, you know, I'm recording myself. I'm recording this experience to make it more meaningful and make it more fun, which, like, you know... It's kind of interesting, because you can do that for any game, and uh, it's definitely not, like, built into the game as, like, oh, this game is meant to be played while you record yourself for extra fun. Like, this is something I'm doing outside of the game, and so, you know, someone will be like, ah, maybe that's the game's fault, or something like that. Like, that just shows how bad the game is, that you need to record yourself playing it in order to get a good experience out of it, or something like that. But, um, I say in the end, as long as you're enjoying yourself, and having fun with the game. That's all that matters kind of thing. And, if, and you know. However, you know. Some games back in the old crazy 80s and 90s days. Were like ridiculous. And, and they required you to like. I don't know. I'm thinking like Metroid. Or um, some other weird adventure games. Or puzzle games. Or something where they actually like required you to like. Take notes. Oh critical hit. Um, and like. I don't know, draw a map. I'm oh, Kid Icarus Uprising, that was another one where, like, the dungeons were crazy and stuff. I mean, they weren't, they weren't as crazy as Metroid, but, um, they were definitely confusing. But, um, anyways, games like those where it's, like, you actually had to get a pencil and paper and, like, write out things. Um, I'm sure there are other better examples, but those are the ones that come to my mind. Anyways, does that mean that they're bad? That they don't, you know, like, you have to use, um, you know... Uh, exterior resources to enjoy them. I mean, that's, you know, it's whatever you think about it. It's kind of whatever, whatever if, if you think it's bad, it's bad, but like, and I used to have that opinion, I guess, but I feel like in the, in the end, whatever, if, if you can enjoy it, that's all that matters. And then it's really just how much you enjoy it based on, you know, what, what you have to enjoy it with, I guess. Um, anyways, that was a, a mild tangent there. But, um, basically all that to say that there are things you can do to enjoy a game. I'm nuzlocking and I'm recording this. But some other things that were, like, more, you know, internal. Like, uh, you know, playing the game just with what it gives you and making something out of that. There were things I could do there, too. And that, I think, happens, um... So I'm, I'm, I'm like, drifting off and getting... I'm losing my train of thought a little bit. Um... 
yeah, basically finding meaning from just the game and, and not trying to, um, you know, use exterior resources or whatever, like, uh, recording myself and such. Um, nose locking is, you know, like, like setting rules for yourself, setting special whatevers or something that that's an example. I think it's a little, it's so weird and awkward and vague and that kind of thing where it's like, one of the things I'd also done was like, I'm going to do a full monotype team of all grass Pokemon. Like I did that for my Pokemon Emerald playthrough and I, and I had a good time with it. And that was one of the things where I was like, my overall thesis is that Pokemon, well, there's a lot that I like about it. I feel like the gameplay overall is like pretty boring. Um, like it's easier for me to say there's a lot wrong with Pokemon. There's a lot lame about it than there is, than it is for me to say that there's a lot good about it. Like there's a lot I can comment about as being like lame, negative, boring, unsatisfying, repetitive, sloggy and stuff. I can say it. I can, I can, it's very easy for me to, make that point then oh pokemon is rewarding satisfying and 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 wow that's the first weedle i think i've seen that's amazing um yeah like rewarding satisfying stimulating inspiring unique distinct and, and, and whatever positive good things you know people sometimes say about games um yeah anyways but yet i still enjoy pokemon and i'm able to find ways to enjoy it and i think it helps um, sorry, I'm gonna go down another tangent. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I was gonna say it helps that I, like, I already like the aesthetic of Pokemon, so they've already won me over on that front, and I think that maybe is the key to having an, a mind that's open and willing and trying and wanting to, uh, have fun and find a way to have fun. And, like, if you don't already find something that you like about it, it's gonna be very difficult to, um, you know, find meaning from it in any way or, or whatever. Like, you actually have to... You have to start from a place of wanting to enjoy the game, I think. Um, and so I do have that because I, I like the Pokemon aesthetic. I like the world. I like the the concept and, and the art style, at least of the older games and stuff. Um, anyways, we finally made it to level 10. I'll restore my dudes. Um, what time are we at right now? 27. Maybe I'll make this part. Uh, whatever, I know, we're, I was initially going, like, part 8, part 9, or whatever, I don't remember what part I'm on, but, um, part whatever, this will be the end of part whatever, and I'm gonna stop it here and BRB, one second.